What's up, people? Back with another reaction, back with some more classical, and indeed, we're back to continue Gustav Holst's The Planets. Um, I've reacted to five of the seven so far. We have two to go. Um, I've done them a little bit out of order just because I wanted to go through them in my own sort of idiosyncratic way. Uh, but we're going to listen to Mercury, the Winged Messenger. Uh, I think this um, particular movement has a really nice melodic phrase. It's been a little while since I listened to it, but I remember that when I think of this piece, uh, there's this, this melodic line that sort of extends and it's very sweet and epic. So um, I'm looking forward to that, although again, it's a little opaque to me as I'm trying to recall it. Uh, we're going to listen to uh, the CSR Symphony Orchestra from Bratislava, conducted by Adrian Lieber. Um, this was recorded in 1988, uh, and so here we go. This is Mercury, the Winged Messenger by Gustav Holst as part of his Planets Suite. Um, this is, as I said, Adrian Lieber conducting in the CSR Symphony Orchestra of Bratislava performing. Sort of sprightly and, you know, a little all over the place. Almost cartoonish. Which I don't say is an insult, I just mean it has a very, like, little animated things dancing about, but in a sort of, you know, haphazard or confused way. And now, a little bit of suspense. Tension strings, even. Hermes is like, do I get credit too? Like, no, bro. sound better with the strings or the woodwinds? You tell me. Oh, or the bell? Or no, xylophone? Nice in the woodwinds there when it got all soft. Back to a bit of the frenetic, animated, sprightly vibe. Especially right there. It does have a flight sort of feel. Holst did capture that very well. There's tension.
truth, it's a crazy piece. It's sort of like very different elements. That main melody is very rich and like pleasing and sonorous, and the rest of it is a bit like scrambly and frantic and jumpy. Um, so it's a it's an interesting juxtaposition. But as I said, especially the frantic parts really capture a sort of flying, a winged vibe very well. And then it was sort of like a surprisingly like low end. Um, finish but then it sort of like you know sprightly leaped out again right at the end uh so yeah let me know what you think um i don't i haven't listened to this one nearly as much as the other pieces but again as i said um the one thing i did remember going into it is that i had this really sweet melody that sort of you know intensifies and rolls through the orchestra um so yeah let me know what you thought let me know if you are actually a big fan of this particular movement um we have one left to go uh, that is Saturn, uh, the bringer of old age, which feels like a good place to end, right? Um, so we'll come back for that one. That one's actually the longest in the entire um, suite, so I think it's another like good way or a good um, choice to end on. So, like I said, I hope you're here for it. We'll come back for Saturn, the bringer of old age, as performed by the CSR Symphony Orchestra, conducted by Adrian Lieber. Shout out to Gustav Holst. Um, you know, I think the planet is the thing he's most famous for, and sometimes, you know, I think that can happen with a composer where the thing that they're most known for isn't actually their best piece um, but I think in his case it probably is um, you know there's some other works I like of his on this same CD there's his uh, Sweet de Ballet um, I think that is actually very good as well um, there's a carnival movement which I particularly like um, but I really do think The Planets is probably the best thing he did. So let me know if you agree, uh, and let me know which one, if you do have a favorite among the particular movements, which one is your favorite. Anyway, thank you for listening and watching. I really do appreciate it. Have a good day. Have a good night. I'll see you next time. Peace.